Today in courtrooms in two different states, men accused in hate crimes appeared in court. In the last week, we've told you about three different attacks in the U.S., all linked to hate crimes. Robert Bowers is accused of killing 11 people worshiping Saturday at a Pittsburgh synagogue in Florida. Cesar Sayoc is accused of sending pipe bombs to prominent Democrats and CNN. And then in Kentucky, Greg Bush is accused of killing two people in a grocery store after trying to get inside a predominantly African-American church. CBS 17's Michael Hyland looking into these hate crimes here in North Carolina and getting answers about how local late local agencies rather respond. Michael. Some of the people I talked to today say the state's hate crime laws need to change. Part of the issue, whether we really know how prevalent the problem is. Yet another mass shooting. This time, police say the suspect targeted Jewish people at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh. He faces hate crime charges for it. The most recent data from the FBI showed an increase in reported hate crimes in the U.S. from 2015 to 2016. At the same time, there was a decrease in North Carolina, dropping from 161 to 148. Kendra Johnson with Equality NC says that actually highlights a problem. And because we don't have an accurate accounting of these crimes as they happen currently, it's as if they don't exist. Colin Willoughby served as Wake County's district attorney for 27 years. In North Carolina, police can charge someone with what's called ethnic intimidation. Willoughby says in his time, it was uncommon and could be hard to prove. An ethnic intimidation charge might have a, a very small sentence compared to an aggravated assault with a weapon or a homicide. Equality NC is backing a bill to cover LGBT people under the state's hate crimes law. It would also require the SBI to gather data on hate crimes from every police agency in the state. People feel like there is no problem when in reality there is not an existing mechanism to capture these problems. Problems that surface in our country every day. The U.S. Justice Department also launched this website on hate crimes today. The goal is to get better data so communities get the resources they need to tackle this problem. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.